Hi, welcome to your next highlights. I just want to bring you up to date on recent market action. Uh, the markets are holding, uh, at least as far as the S&P is concerned, a pivotal support area. If you remember, one of the last highlights uh, last week, I was talking about a major support area from the lows of the hammer back here on the left side in February of 1044 to the low of the hammer that we made a few weeks ago. The low on that hammer was around 1041. And lo and behold, right at my major support area, and actually the support area was between those lows, and if you remember, I was looking at change of polarity. Okay, old resistance becoming support, and that was around the 950 area. So between the, the lows of the hammers, which I mentioned before, around 1044, 1042 to the 950 area is where I was looking for major support for those who saw highlights last week. Uh, and right at those lows, the top end of that zone, we had a bullish piercing pattern and, uh, over here. And with that in mind, we're now approaching the major resistance area, at least short term, based on the 50% retracement from the sell-off from the high uh, in late May to the low that we had at the hammer and we've been talking about this as an important short-term resistance area so we've done the first thing we've put a potential base in place now if the market can close above I'm saying above 1110 because the 50 percent retracement is around 1107 and the high that we had uh, on the recent bounce on the session over here was at around 1106 so just to be safe let's say it closed above 1110 in that scenario we would then have a double bottom now remember, a lot of people misunderstand what a double bottom in is. A double bottom is not confirmed until you take out the intervening high. So on a close above the 1110 area, then we would have a confirmed double bottom. And if the market does close above 1110, this old resistance area should now be support. So uh, this is what the candles are all about, the Nissen candles. Again, we call them Nissen candles, candlestick training the right way hammer on the left, a hammer over here, the piercing pattern confirmed my support area, uh, now we just have to blow through resistance. And even if the market does uh, move down and does, uh, in the unlikely scenario, break under the lows here around 1042, 1040, once again my support zone is all the way down to 950, but so far it looks like it's holding very well. For those who are trading Forex, the Euro is also at a critical area. Uh, change of polarity, old support becoming resistance. Notice a little bullish engulfing pattern over here. And also a falling resistance line. And I'm doing this, by the way, uh, Sunday at about 9.20 Eastern Time. So on a close, I would say above the 120.150 area, that to me would be a short-term bullish breakout. The euro would have closed above change of polarity, old support becoming resistance, as well as this falling resistance line. But as of now, as of this recording, the euro is still at resistance, but you know, obviously by the time you view the recording, it'll be on Monday and uh, you know, things will change, so just keep an eye on that level.